What's up guys, Dr. Greg here back with another episode of Braces Explained. Hope you guys have been well. So today what we're gonna be talking about is a question that a lot of you guys have had, and that is what are TADs, or TADs, often known as mini screws? So let's go. So a TAD or a TAD comes in many different names. They are also known as mini screws, mini implants, micro implants. There's a lot of different names for them, but basically what they are is that they're an anchor used to move teeth. So these TADs are made out of medical grade titanium and they're something that's really revolutionary in orthodontics. We could do a lot of things using these absolute anchors that we weren't able to do before. So a lot of times extractions can be prevented and jaw surgery can be prevented by using TADs. This doesn't prevent the need for jaw surgery or extractions, but what it does is that it decreases the frequency that they're gonna be performed. Now, let's go back a second and talk about what an anchor is in orthodontics. When we have tooth movement, it's very similar to having two people in rolly chairs. If you have two people in a rolly chair and they pull on a string, what's gonna happen is that they're both gonna move with an equal and opposite reaction, so they'll kind of meet in the middle. Now what I want you guys to picture is if there was like a concrete pole and someone's sitting on a rolling chair, if they pull a string that's wrapped around that pole, the pole's not gonna move. What's gonna happen? Exactly, the person in the rolling chair is gonna slide towards that pole. So in that sense, the pole is essentially your anchor. When you move teeth orthodontically, when you put a force between two teeth, what happens is that they move closer together. But let's say we only wanted one of those teeth to move. How do we achieve that? So just like in our pole example, we want an absolute anchor, and that can be achieved with a TAD. So let's review some examples on how these TADs can be used. So let's say you have a very, very deep bite, and if you don't remember what a deep bite is, check out the video in the description talking about different types of overbites and overjets. So let's say you had a very deep bite, meaning your upper teeth fully overlap your lower teeth. A TAD can be used and placed down here in your lower gums and pull on your lower teeth to bring them down or intrude them to make your deep bite less deep. This would be really difficult to achieve, however, if you didn't have TADs. Another example of how TADs can be used is if you have a very large overjet. Traditionally, this overjet would be corrected by using a headgear that uses the back of your head as an anchor to bring your upper jaw's teeth backwards. Now, what we can use is use a few TADs and use those as anchors to bring the teeth in your upper jaw backwards so that you can have a normal overbite and overjet. So the way these TADs are placed is either your orthodontist or your oral surgeon will get the area where the TAD will be placed numb. Once that area is numb, these TADs can be screwed into your bone and it's really, really atraumatic. Generally, you'll just feel a little bit of pressure in the area. Right after you're done, you'll be back to normal and you really won't even notice much happened. It's really, really important to keep these TADs clean though. So when you brush your teeth, make sure you also brush very gently around these TADs and make sure that food doesn't accumulate around that TAD to cause inflammation and have it fall out sooner than your orthodontist wants it to come out. So those are the basics behind what TADs are. They can be used in so many different ways that I can't even begin to highlight in this video, but I hope some of those examples help clarify why they're used in orthodontics. If you have any questions about TADs, please leave them in the comments below. Also, if you guys had any TADs during your treatment, please let me know in the comments below. I personally had six TADs placed on myself when I was going through orthodontic treatment. With that being said, if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this, and I will see you guys next time on Brace Explained. For now, Dr. Greg, 